I've got here a .NET 6 web application, but follow along even if you're in .NET 5 or maybe even in .NET Core 3 point something because this will still apply and I'll explain as we go along what would be different and what you have to do if you're in .NET 5. But this is .NET 6. Let's begin. Let's say you have some settings here in your app settings.json that you don't want to go to source control. They're secret, but you still need them in your project. I'll give you an example here. Let's say you have secret stuff. Okay. And let's say in there you've got something like um, code A. And you've got say password B. So I'll show you what you can do. Right click the project and you're going to go to manage user secrets. This create a secrets.json file. Go ahead and move those items in there. Control X. Control V. And we'll save that. Now it's interesting because as you can see here, it's not showing up. I could search for it. And you won't find it. But the project knows it's there. So if I was to open up the project here, you would see the user secrets ID and you could copy that string. Go back to your secrets JSON file. You could right click on it and open containing folder. And you'll see that's the same string that appears up here in the file location. Now, how do we consume this with our application? That's the next step. So here's where .NET 5 would be slightly different from .NET 6. In .NET 6, I'm going to go to my program.cs. In .NET 5, you're going to go to your startup.cs. Now, if you're in .NET 5, you probably would look for your services.configuration method, your startup.cs. You'd have something like this um, using the I configuration. And there is a way to do that with .NET 6, but it's several lines. And it's just a little bit easier in .NET 6 to use, oops, to use the API. So we're going to use the API here. And it doesn't even really have to be in program.cs. That's where I'm going to use it, but you can put it directly in your controllers. So check this out with .NET 6. It's as simple as this. You can do builder.configuration, put your square brackets in here. And then looking at the secrets.json, you could take the top level, put that here, add a colon, and then put the next level of the file. I'm going to run that to show you what it looks like, but I'm sure it won't be a big surprise. As you can see, I got it out here. Now, the other thing too is while I personally like to use the UI to do that, there's actually some command line tools that you can really quickly edit the secrets without even opening this, which might be good if someone's looking over your shoulder and you don't see your screen. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll show you what that looks like. If no one is looking, you can go to tools, command line, developer PowerShell. Now in here, you could do .NET user dash secrets space list. You gotta tell it which project. In my case, it's data vids secrets. And it'll list out what's in there, as you can see, with the path to get to it for the API. You can also add and remove them here, and they'll show up in that JSON file. I'll show you how to do that now. And just real quick, first, you would do this same command, but instead of list, you would do init if you were building it without using the user interface first, if you were building it with the command line from the start. But just to add a new item, we'll do .NET user dash secrets, and we'll do set, and let's do 
secret stuff and we'll give it the value of oh, secret stuff um, x y z b and we'll give it the value my value and you do have to specify the project every time data bits secrets and there you go so now if i hit the up arrow a couple of times to go to list you'll be able to see we've got that third one added in here right there and if i come back here there it is there and as you can probably guess we can also do remove now let's say you wanted to map everything in that secrets json to a class well now we're going to do it the old dotnet 5 way in dotnet 6 pretty much so uh, we'll go ahead and go into the builder to get the instance of configuration not the configuration static classes but we'll get the instance of configuration from builder because it's already available here like we used it with the api but we're going to go to get section and here we can put in the top level like here <laughs> excuse me and then we need to map it to a class so let's generate a class i'm going to call it data vid secrets well, usually you can control dot but it's not letting me so we'll do it the old-fashioned way new pro new class add new item and in here you're going to want to have a variable for each item from the secrets there you go as you could see i created each one of the inner items from secrets.json just as a simple property with get and set you can type prop and tab twice and it'll give you that shorthand there let's go ahead and save all and go back to program.cs we'll make this larger so i renamed mine to data vid secret stuff because i had a namespace conflict with the other items in the project and data vid secret. So if you come here, the namespace data vid secret, the class data vid secret stuff, and in program, there's the namespace there. And here is the class name. So that's great. Now we've got access to it, the old school .NET 5 way, which still has a lot of value in .NET 6 because sometimes you do want to populate a whole class in fact, it could happen quite frequently with environment variables. So now we've, we can get um, actual variables out of there. So let's go ahead and look at password B, for example. We've got our breakpoint set and we'll go ahead and run it. And there you go, DEF. The last point I wanted to make on this topic is that if you've got your app settings.json and you decide that there's some information here that's too sensitive to keep here and your app settings.json goes to source control and you decide to pull things out into secrets.json and keep those out of source control passwords etc make sure you let your team know make sure in the readme or project documentation you give them instructions on how to open PowerShell, for example, and create those items. What items are needed to be created and what are the acceptable values for those items? That way the project can still be built and it's no big deal that you've moved them out into the secrets. Well, have a great day, guys. And if there's anything else you want me to show you on my channel, if I know how to do it, I'll do so. Just leave a comment below. Take care.